he's great until he sees a dog and then bang. Oh. We've never had a reactive dog before, so we just thought, you know, dogs just come along and do what they're supposed to, and, and this is not the case. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do I do? Let me see. I'm gonna go over some basic exercises for dismantlement. So when we go out, Higgins heel, and there's a dog here, the inside turn is where you're gonna turn here and you're gonna cut back and you're gonna go back this way. There's an outside turn, which is we come out this way, heel, and then we simply turn outside. And then there's the drawback recall. Say Alyssa has a dog here. Higgins, come. Yes, good job, good boy. What builds a dog is their head. Smell, hear, and see. And typically the seeing of the dog is what tips it over. So we're gonna, we're gonna focus on dismantlement before we focus on corrections, but that's how you would do that. Have you done training like he before? Went to two weeks, um, <clears throat> what do you call it, day training. I drop him off in the morning, pick him up in okay. the afternoon. It was a sullen type of behavior and she did not believe in much positive reinforcement at all. So Kason's gonna pop out with the dog and I wanna just watch <clears throat> the behavior of Higgins. See how his mouth goes from uh, open to a little bit closed. Mm -hmm. That's pulls. there, that's when you'll start to, there, that's where you'll start to see things load a little bit more. That was a great experience for him. He saw a dog, I don't know, 30 feet, whatever. And it was a good experience for him. He didn't react, it was a positive experience for him. So during that time, um, good boy Higgins, good job, whatever. You can just let him know that that was good. In that situation, you get a really easy going dog. You just, because that's training. That's him getting better. You see the dog, okay, cool, great. No reaction, even better. Now, if you get a dog that's more reactive, you might have to be more assertive and be more applicable with the handling and the corrections and things. Just walk. <coughs> leave it, hey, leave it. No. Good, leave it, Higgins. Good, oh, leave it. Yeah. So, <coughs> so, so oh, instantly <laughs> saw it in his, saw it so, in his face. <laughs> That bark that he's doing is more of this, oh crap, like kind of <laughs> kind of thing, right? <laughs> yeah, and and you can tell by the kind of like the length of it, it's like more of a bar, like a, almost like a beagle esque type howl. Mm -hmm. So dogs who are more aggressive could, or at least more intentional with like, I don't like this dog, are gonna be more like, whoa, 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 like, get up, you know? That's very like, oh crap, what do I do? It's very like sound offish. So right now he's hearing this dog next door and he's, if you just watch his body language, he tells you so much. He's, in, he's interested, you know, he's wagging his tail and he's kind of like, what's going on, but he's not barking. So the correction that you were doing wasn't as defined as mine was, right? Okay. So I had a lot of precision and it was, it was like, do, 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 like really quick. And then you saw him go, Oh yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it wasn't harder than what you were doing. It was faster. And it was it was on time and it was it was repetitive. Oh. Hello. I didn't see you standing there. Did you guys know that we have brand new no bad dog professional tugs? Its durable canvas allows you to play with your dog for even the toughest players. Yes. I also developed rubber inside the handle so your dog doesn't viciously rip your hand apart when you're playing tug. And the dogs love it and it's safe for them to play with. Click the link below to get yours today. We quickly found out that he is kind of a Dr. and Jekyll and Mr. Hot. He is wonderful until he sees another dog and very dog reactive. Yeah. As soon as he reacts, my anxiety goes, oh, sure. oh, okay, no, you know, you know. Sure. And he's feeling that. Mm -hmm. When you deal with something every day, it's, that's your life. You're like, this is what is going to happen. So you're, you become like almost a muscle memory. You see a dog mm -hmm. and you go, and you tighten up. Mm -hmm. oh. 
the nice. lizard dog. Really I good. I didn't know she had a dog. I know you didn't. <laughs> I was gonna tell you that he looked at the dog as you acted like no big deal because you thought there wasn't a big deal. Yeah. So you acted normal and he didn't react at all. And then after you go, oh, there's a dog. So it's good for you to see. Have you been able to successfully have him around other dogs yourself without the other trainers around or? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, come. Good. When you're building towards another dog, try to do these like, you know, quick insight. So you don't have to do your disengagement or your dismantlement exercises only if, you don't have to do that if the dog is building. You can do it um, to break the build even if you're not seeing it. So as there's another dog just in general, you can still like do your, you can do your inside turns, inside turn this way, outside turn this way, come good. And just keep them kind of busy around, around these other dogs. Um, and that's, that's the objective here. Higginson. So try to work on, as I'm playing with her here, you can just work on, again, your, your, your dismantlement stuff. And then back this way. And we'll just use this little, uh, this as a distraction, because when she runs, it gets him excited. Heel. Good. Good. So stop for one second. Okay, this Sit. is important. When you were right here, and then you were healing this way, when she's running off and playing with the No Bad Dog tug toy, he was locked in here. So he still had all of his vision right here. So I think you asked yesterday about, does it matter the inside or outside turns? Um, so this is where that matters. So I'll oh, show you. Should I have gone to the outside to push yeah. away from her? Yeah, trying to break that vision a little bit. So if the distraction is here and you're healing this, um, if you went from here to here, if she's moving, he's still here. I'm not between, okay. Yeah, and like he's he's got all the, the um, property right there to continue to look at yeah. the dog. So alternatively, what you could do is when you're moving this way and he's still locked in here, instead of this, you could have done an outside turn and went back this way. Normally, I would say 90% of the time with a reactive dog, they have to percolate and load before they before then react. They okay. So your job as you're dismantling this, and this is something that I've really been honing in on for the last couple of years because it's all I do, is as you turn this way, the dog's still loading here. You did turn, you made a directional change and the dog is engaged a little bit, but they still have all of this access to the dog here. So you're not really breaking down that build. Yep. So if you would have just turned this way and went this way, even if you walk this way, the dog is away and looking, but ultimately you would have went this Good. way and back this Break. way. Break. Okay, there you go, perfect. That was nice, stay Koda. That was really nice. See, that's what I, that's what I you it did. took me a while to think. Okay, okay. You ah. did good, you did good, keep going. Higgins, come. You know, it's like an athlete practicing a play. He's like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. So that was good came out and then you realize this build here and you thought and then you turned and then boom. If you guys are struggling with your dog, you're struggling with behavioral, you're struggling with your new puppy, or you just want a better relationship with your dog, I have archived years of uncut, unreleased footage that dog owners all over the world have spent thousands of dollars on just for you guys at the comfort of your own home. You guys are getting all of the uncut, unreleased footage that we don't post on YouTube. You're also going live with me once a week to answer your specific questions about your dog. You also get full access to my personal dog training staff here at the Upstate Canine Academy to help reinforce all of the information and all of the step-by-step -step protocols that we teach in our successful dog training programs. You'll learn from real people that have real problems with real results. So sign up today, what are you waiting for? I want you to have the dog of your dreams. We're not gonna get rid of all the dogs. So Higgins needs to understand and learn how to deal with it. If you know that there's a dog that's gonna be coming out, again, I wouldn't be, or you see a dog at walking across the parking lot when you're at Panera. I wouldn't be waiting, I would be taking, again, I always think about it like a simmering pot before it boils over. You know, you're cooking pasta and you can see it coming over and you're chopping onions and you come over and you turn the heat off or you remove it from the heat and it immediately goes 
that's what you're doing with the, what we're doing here is naturally the dog is going to build because they're excited and they can hear and they can smell and they they know what's come it's like a jurassic park where you start seeing the trees move before you see the dinosaur or the water starts to go doof, doof, like that you know it's coming right dogs have a tremendous ability to know things like that see all that build mouth shuts we're getting excited we're getting to stimulate and at any moment if he barks i would have been like clockwork right easy easy so re remove the head from the situation higgins come leave it come on. good boy heel ah to me it's like reading a book a dog is going to bark okay okay i get it <laughs> so to me that's how easy it is like i just I don't even have to see the dog, I can just hear, and I just know this dog well enough for the last two days to know like five, four, you know, that sort of thing. So again, you have to just make sure. It was so, so incredibly easy for this dog to decompress. Some dogs you're like fighting them for, you know, minutes at a time, which is a long time to be handling a dog that's trying to get to another dog, because they're strong. So what I did is I said, hey dog, I want you to come over here. He's kind of still like, yeah, but I can't listen. Bang, corrected. Hey, come here. Oh shit, okay, boom. And then it went whoosh, right away. He gets worked up, he barks. No big deal. Dogs bark. Like what the hell, you know what I mean? He barks, Do dogs bark. It would be weird if dogs didn't bark, you know what I mean? So when he does bark, oh, okay, cool. And we're gonna come over here, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna, so we're asserting like, hey, knock it off, right? You're just constantly looking to see what's going to happen, especially when you're out there, because believe it or not, all the dogs here are going to be more controlled than what you're going to find out in reality, right? You're going to get off leash. You're going to get flexies. You're going to get people who just don't care. You're going to get the person that's like, she's friendly. They just want to say hi. Be mindful of these situations and, and try to be proactive. That's really what it comes down to is proactive. Those last couple, you saw those last couple situations out there. That's exactly what we needed to see. You know, you want to love your dog, but you have to let him know that you're in control and he's safe. So it will help Higgins understand that he's safe and he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. So, yeah.